All right, last day of hurricane season is today. The tropics are quiet, but we certainly had another active season for you. We had about 14 named storms. Eight of those were hurricanes and two of those were major hurricanes. Now we had four U.S. named storm landfalls. Of course, that first one was Tropical Storm Colin, which actually formed just inland from the South Carolina coastline. Ian made landfall in southwest Florida and a second landfall in South Carolina. And then more, more recently, Hurricane Nicole made at landfall on Florida's east coast. Early, early on in the season, we did have potential tropical cyclone one move across the state, which eventually became tropical storm Alex. But overall, it was actually a near average season in terms of the number of storms, and that was despite La Nina, which typically gives us an active season. But we had a long uh, period of some Saharan dust, those strong upper level winds, and cooler than normal waters in the subtropical Atlantic, which kept, kept that activity at bay compared to previous years. Now it was a quiet start, but a busy end. We had about a two month stretch where we had no storms at all, and that was the first time between July 3rd and August 31st. But we also had three November hurricanes. Now Ian was the most notable storm of the season by far, and it did tie for fifth for the strongest U.S. landfall, and it was the deadliest Florida hurricane since 1935. But Lee, thankfully, we're done with that. Now we're looking at the cold fronts. And well, yeah, we'll start to see the cold fronts coming through, but this is really the start of our more quiet season, our dry season.